so you know you need to get some link building done. Let's talk a little bit about why you have to do this. First off, in the search engine optimization world, there's really two primary ingredients, one of them being having a website up with some good content, text, images, and whatnot. And the other one really is links, links, and more links pointing to your website. In a nutshell, that's exactly what it takes to get on page one of Google. Uh, let me show you a live example of what I'm talking about here. If you go to Google, and let's go ahead and search for Phoenix Real Estate. And the very first listing here, you're going to see phoenixhomes.com. Let's go ahead and click on that. I have a little plug in here uh, for Firefox called Search Status. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at Yahoo's uh, backlinks for uh, Phoenix Real Estate. And the reason why I'm using Yahoo is because they show more complete data on backlinks than Google does, even though uh, Google is the number one search engine on the block. Yahoo is a great investigation tool. So I'm going to go ahead and click on show backlinks, then domain, and then Yahoo. And that's going to take me to the site Explorer. As you can see, uh, including their domain pointing to itself uh, and probably a few other sub pages, it has a little over, probably about uh, 5,000 backlinks to it. Let's go ahead and say accept from this domain and it still has 4,811 links pointing to their website. That's really clear evidence that linking works. Let me scroll down. You're going to see there's a link from a directory there. There's another one from a directory. And if you scroll down, you also start noticing that there's some backlinks coming in from blogs, which definitely work and helps in the overall linking scheme. So where do you get started? That's a big question. Uh, one place you can start getting backlinks from uh, immediately is directories. However, you want to make sure that you're getting these links from quality directories that aren't cluttered with spam. Uh, there's another aspect to getting listed in directories. Some of them allow linking to your site with a deep, with a deep link. And what's meant by a deep link is simply that you don't link just to your domain.com but also to your domain.com something here. And that something here can be a great article you have mounted on your website, a tool, a resource. And why that's important is simply Google would look at a website and say you have a thousand links and it's all pointing to your front page. Say you have another mirror site and you have a majority going to your front site, but say you have a couple hundred pointing to a subdirectory. That raises a, a really great quality signal with Google. They like to see some deep linking happening because it looks like your site's more authentic and you have some real value built into your site, not just a, a sales page on the front. Another place you can get some backlinks is with the use of article marketing. And what that is simply having some writers write some articles, submit them out to article directories, and it points backlinks to your site. So it's another great way of getting backlinks. Let me show you a quick example of the power of that. I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to type into how to add audio play button. At the very top here in the number two position you'll see a link from Ezine Articles and that link points back to this site here, uh, Internet Newbie School. This stuff works uh, and the reason why I know that this actually generates traffic because I happen to own these two. So it's effective, this works in other markets, you really should include this in your overall linking strategy. What's another way? Blog comments. And do I want to say go out there and spam a bunch of comments on blogs? Absolutely not. And not only that, you want to make sure that you get really quality links from blogs. And one of the things you have to evaluate is on some blogs, Google has this thing called a nofollow tag. And in many cases, what that does is that tells Google, hey, simply don't follow these little comment links that people are dropping so it's really not effective to do a lot of link dropping on those. What you want to do is find do follow blogs or allow that allows Google to follow through. Let me show you a quick example of that. If you go to this real estate blog here and you scroll down, you'll see there's a couple people that posted comments. They have a little link. You'll notice down here in the status bar that they're trying to link to their website. And on this blog it's really not effective and I'll show you why. In the search status plugin you can select highlight nofollow links and guess what? 
all of these are no followed. So what we do is we can go out and find the blogs that allows Google to follow these links and again that adds to the overall linking strategy that will help increase your page rank and presence online. So let's look at another way to get some links here. RSS feed directories. If you have a blog or a content management system on your site, which we strongly recommend, once you do that, you're going to have a little thing called an RSS feed. And what you can do after that is simply go over to a site, and we can do this for you, and get you listed on all of these blog RSS feed directories. Again, it, it's showing Google that you're out there publishing. You have a technically elegant site, and it's really worthwhile. Uh, getting crawled. Another way, let's look at another one, social bookmarking. That's another great way to get some link building done. What is social bookmarking? Social bookmarking is simply where there's some sites online that you can go and submit stories. A lot of people use these sites where they share bookmarks or links with each other. Here's one called Propeller. And this one's actually owned by Netscape. If you look down here in this corner, it shows that it's a page rank of 8, which is really a heavily ranked website in Google's eyes. And what that means to you is simply that Google basically sets up camp on this website. Its little robot or spider crawls this thing, you know, every minute, every hour, every day. So when you get links posted on here, what happens is, is that these little links will follow through to your website. So it's really important to add in social bookmarking. There's over a hundred of these things and it's worth doing. One-way traffic and thematic link building. This is really the holy grail of link building. If you can get a lot of sites to link just to yours and you're not linking back out to them, what that tells Google is that a lot of sites find your site so important that they're going to link to you regardless whether you link back to them or not. A long time ago Google caught on to the trick where people were linking to another site and then that site was linking back to them in a reciprocal link fashion and they just kind of blew that out of the water. That's really not so important anymore. And what we mean by thematic is simply you don't want to get a ton of links to your site from non-relevant uh, web pages. You don't. Google will look at that and, and devalue those links whereas if you have a golf site and you get say a golf supply or a golf technique site to link to you that's relevant, Google notices that and it's going to apply more importance to it. And that's really link building in a nutshell. Uh, you can do this yourself if you want to try or you can simply hire us to do it for you and save you a lot of hassle and time. Uh, our prices are great. Go ahead and take a look at this page, click on some of the services we have, and we'll get you into action. Take care.